Hey, hey guys, F -f -f Fire here, bringing you another good game review. This time we're checking out Mighty Aphid 2. This game is developed and published by Cascadia Games and is currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at F -f five bucks. It's a very simplistic action adventure game that takes place over six ch chapters, and in each ch chapter you're going to be playing one of the six different characters who, along the way as you play, will slowly enhance the way your character works and give you abilities. The way the levels work is you have to go around and save a specific amount of people who are currently in danger, whether they're in cages or whatnot, and the goal of the game is to do this without running out of your hearts. And then when you finish a stage, you're going to get to a boss level of sort that's then going to allow you to fight a boss. And from there, you're going to end up defeating the boss and then unlocking the, the next way you can play. The game overall is pretty simplistic. Controls are very basic. You'll hit the A button to navigate around. Um, you should kind of parkour around walls. There's these little like gems you can collect and the gems just recharge kind of like your f f flying ability. And the levels are extremely basic and simple. You don't have to really collect things. The only thing you really have to do is rescue all the hostages and then beat the boss after each stage. Now, the reason I've you're only going to see me have done a few of the stages is honestly every one of them really exact is the same it's just a little bit of a different visual layout and you unlock a special ability after each one it's honestly it's a pretty basic game and again it is for five bucks but the content here doesn't really change much along the way while you're playing you're gonna have a lot of rinse and repeat style mechanisms and it doesn't really add a whole lot of uniqueness in between the stages. Some of the enemies basically do the same thing every time you play. You're just going to be running around, saving the next person in line, and then fighting a boss. And it doesn't leave a lot of content that's kind of excited or exciting to really get to or unlock. It's just survive as far as you can, rescue everybody, rinse and repeat, and then again, just kind of do the same monotonous task over and over. Once you complete out that section, again, you just gotta get, make your way to the end of the level, and that's that's it. There's really not a lot of content here, and you know it's it's simplistic, it's basic, but it's also very boring at the same time. Nothing really st st stands out while playing, and you're gonna kind of just get frustrated over random moments where you die. In, in in the boss fights, they don't really change at all. A lot of the content in the game gets really recycled and it leaves a lot to not look f f forward to as the bosses are predictable, enemies are predictable, and there's nothing really unique in terms of how you're gonna play the game or enjoy your experience. Um, for me, it's just, it's one of those that just leaves a lot to look forward to, but misses on to so many opportunities as it's just recycled content that you're just going to be doing over and over, and quite predictably, it's it's just not a lot of fun. I, I think you're better set to maybe spend your $5 on other games that are currently available on the Xbox, and even some other games that Cascadia Games has put out, I think you're going to find more to time and enjoy with. Overall, guys, that's my th th thoughts on Mighty Aphid 2. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you uh, agree to disagree, I'd love to ch chat about it. Outside of that, I hope to see you again soon.